Every day around the world, dedicated people are working behind the scenes using science to solve crimes. And each year, we celebrate these heroes with the Kuji Hit of the Year Award. Today, we recognize the outstanding achievement of a team of forensic analysts at Lake County Crime Laboratory in Painesville, Ohio, who together with Jamalto Cogent Technology helped solve a major bank robbery. This is their story. We had a, a, a local bank robbery at, at one of our small banks. A woman came into the bank, came up to the teller, started asking about different types of accounts and what would be required for those accounts. At this time, then, the, the robber goes ahead and pushes a, a note across to the teller with instructions of keep smiling, no dye packs, no bait packs. The teller looks at the note and then pushes it back to the robber and says, are you, are you serious? The robber says, yes, yes, and I have a gun. The teller then proceeds to empty out her drawer, uh, hands the money over to the robber. The robber then turns to one of her accomplices and hands her the money. The three individuals then proceed to flee in a silver car away from the bank. The police processed the scene and collected some latent prints, as well as an envelope that was handled. I was able to look at those latent prints and find a partial palm print of value. Banks can be a little um, can be difficult to develop prints on, especially bank countertops, because of the number of people that come in contact with those counters on a daily basis. So what you have is an overlay of many finger impressions. In this case, there, there is a video footage of the robber. She was at the counter. She handled things at the counter. So they'll, they will process um, the counter, anything that she may have handled. We're looking at the area of the skin um, that that came from, finger or palm. Then within that, we're looking at pattern types. We're looking at loops, whirls, and arches, where ridges stop, where two ridges come together, or where we have very short ridges or dots. Those are the individual characteristics that will separate one loop from another or one whirl from another. The best evidence came from a partial palm print that was lifted from the bank counter where the, the robber interacted with the teller. I went ahead and scanned that into our Cogent APHIS system. I entered the case information in, uh, then I manually encoded the, the print to search against our local and our Ohio State databases. And within less than a minute, I was able to have results with the potential candidate list to this latent print. Uh, evaluated that list and found a potential match to the robber in this case. At that time, I printed off the known record and compared it to that parcel palm print and was able to confirm that, uh, that identification to the robber. It's really a great advancement for us. It's gotten faster, it's gotten more complete. Uh, it's gotten to be a lot more accurate, and it just really speeds up the process, helps us solve crimes much, much faster, but it still boils down to the individual examiner. To take that information, take the evidence, the latent print from the crime, and compare that to the exemplar, or the fingerprint or palm print record of the individual in question, to make the determination, to call it an identification. As a forensic analyst, it's rewarding to be able to use science to help solve crimes and help the community become a safer community. And being able to contribute in that way makes me proud of what we are able to do as forensic scientists. We congratulate the Lake County Crime Lab for their excellent work in solving this case. And we thank Kuji members and users of Jamalto Cogent Technology everywhere for their critical role in making the world a better and safer place.